seems like just yesterday that I was talking to our Trojan family about sleep being our superpower. However, the importance of sleep is now more important than ever with the coronavirus lingering longer than we initially expected. And I'm so glad to have a new member uh, with us today whose passion I share for yoga and we're gonna be hearing from her shortly. And I'm excited about that. So let's get started. Sleep, you go to the next slide, thank you. <clears throat> sleep still is our superpower and a wonder drug. The coronavirus or COVID as we are calling it has us maneuvering our lives in uncharted waters. So it's not surprising the importance of sleep may be flying slightly under the radar. But as we adjust and try to remain healthy, focusing on sleeping well will offer us tremendous benefits. Research from such experts as Matthew Walker, author of Why We Sleep, and Ariana Huffington, author of The Sleep Revolution, has shown that brain activity during sleep has profound effects on emotional and mental health. During sleep, the brain works to evaluate and remember thoughts and memories. Memories. With that in mind, our sleep experts do consider sleep a wonder drug, or as we call it, our superpower. Adequate amounts of sleep can extend your life, protect you against certain medical and emotional conditions, and in general, help you feel happier, less anxious, and more alive. Next slide, please. So why is sleep so important and what is the impact on our workplace? Most people know firsthand that sleep affects our mental state. After all, there's a reason it's said that someone in a bad mood woke up on the wrong side of the bed. As it turns out, there's quite a bit of truth behind this saying. Sleep is very closely connected to our mental and emotional health. For example, sleep deprivation neg negatively affects our job performance, our productivity, our creativity, and other workplace essential skills. Wor research has also found that people who sleep less make more errors, work more slowly, and are less focused with a decreased ability to problem solve. Interestingly, People who sleep less are also less likely to volunteer to take on more challenging tasks. And this one, this one kind of blew me away. Sleep deprivation influences an individual's ethical behavior. Studies have shown that those with less sleep are more likely to blame others for their own mistakes and try to take credit for other people's work. Also, the research has shown that supervisors and managers have been found to be rude and disrespectful respectful to others when they are not well rested. Next slide, please. Next slide. Thank you. So what are things to help us obtain a better night's sleep and be more refreshed in the morning? Some of us can be asleep before our head even hits the pillow. For others, I'm one of those others, it takes a little longer. If you wake up recognizing you have been restless or like some of us who have these fancy watches or Fitbits, they tell us we have had less than restful sleep. If that's the case, it may be time to look at some of our daily routines. So structure and routine are important to all of us and especially now when those routines we used to depend on those levels of control we have over our lives have been shaken. So we need it now more than ever. Science tells us that exercise is one of the best ways to improve your sleep and enjoy greater health. Regular exercise during daylight hours is one of the most effective ways you can set yourself up for a good night's sleep. So while we're, if we were honest, many of us thought how wonderful would it be to work from home? However, for most of us, we are working and sitting longer than ever before, which is affecting our ability to schedule regular exercise into our daily routine. 
And because of the pandemic, it's not safe. And most of the gyms or studios where we used to go as part of our routine, our structure, are now closed. But you could still find a workout buddy. Or like we're doing in our office. We're just checking in with one another to see if we got that walk in, if we made that online yoga class, or kept that intention we set to meditate and practice some mindfulness. And we're doing that just to be supportive of one another. Especially now, we could probably convince ourselves that a nice glass of wine might seem appealing after a long day, even convincing ourselves that we deserve it. However, timing is important when it comes to sleep. Often, if consumed close to bedtime, this glass of wine or whatever you might choose will wake you up and inter interrupt your sleep within a few hours, disrupting your sleep patterns in a way that is not beneficial. Ready? Caffeine. Sure. There's been a lot of talk about the good and bad effects of caffeine on our health. Did you know that caffeine temporarily blocks the body's signals that start the sleep process? It has a half-life of five to seven hours. This means that it remains in your system for quite a while after consuming it. There is a chance that even a seemingly innocent afternoon skinny latte could be the reason that you are struggling to get to sleep at night. At the same time, caffeinated drinks, especially those ever so popular energy drinks, are keeping you from getting that restful night's sleep. Sunlight is definitely our friend when it comes to emotional and mental health. Natural sunlight during the day helps your body know when to keep you awake and when it's time to sleep. So try to go outside, get some natural, natural sunlight, even for a few minutes a day. Your bedroom environment is crucial to optimal sleep. Distractions such as TVs, cell phones, mirrors, all are distractions. Your bedroom should be quiet, relaxing, calm, inviting. So pick up those clothes, clear off the bed, and make sure your environment is warm and cozy. At the same time, pay attention to the temperature of your sleep area. Find out what's most comfortable for you. Some people, like myself, like to be warmer when they sleep. Others, like my granddaughter, kick off all the covers. Try to notice which way is the, most, is, is the way you get the most restful night's sleep. A warm bath or a shower before bed can help your muscles relax, wash off some of the stress from the day, and improve your sleep. We are encouraging everyone to make sure they're staying hydrated. However, large amounts before bed can cause you to wake up during the night to head for the bathroom. So try to reduce liquids one to two hours before sleep. Next slide, please. So what are some of the challenging challenges during a pandemic? Daily life as we knew it has been disrupted and we're not happy about that. The coronavirus pandemic created a host of new challenges, even for people who previously had no sleeping problems. Social distancing, school closures, quarantines, working from home, all have brought profound changes to our previous normal routines. Keeping track of the time or even the day has proven difficult without the typical time anchors that we had pre-COVID. Once wishing we could work for home and now feeling stuck at home, daily life has changed in ways that have affected our sleeping and our waking patterns. And naturally, many people fear catching the virus because they don't want to get sick or infect others, family members, young and old, inadvertently. We all know someone in a high risk group. So we are not only worried about them, but aren't able to socialize them with them as we once did. The pandemic has taken a significant toll on our mental health, which can disrupt our normal sleep patterns. Grief over illness or even death of a loved one is affecting our mental health and our sleep. Depression shows up in feelings of sadness, loss of interest in activities once enjoyed, which again, again can affect our ability to get a good night's sleep. 
keeping up with work from home, maintaining obligations with children who are now at home and who are accustomed to being at school poses real problems, which generates stress on marriages, children's behaviors, all of which become barriers to optimal sleep. Families are isolated from friends, vacations have been canceled, and concern over when this will change all impact our ability to get proper rest. Our children are in online school. We're working virtually on Zoom calls for hours in a day. What once was relaxation, a Netflix movie, now is just more unneeded screen time. This excess time stimulates the brain in ways that make it hard to wind down and help the body move into sleep mode. The Mayo Clinic defines fatigue as a nearly constant state of weariness that develops over time and reduces your energy, your motivation, and your concentration. Sound familiar to anyone? And here is the sad part. Even if you can obtain an adequate amount of sleep at night, fatigue can still leave you feeling tired and unmotivated in the morning. So, now that I've described how sleep benefits you and how you can attain optimal sleep, as well as normalizing how you may be feeling and being impacted by a lack of sleep during this pandemic, Sarah, our new yoga instructor, is here to give you positive ways toward achieving better sleep. Sarah? Hi, everyone. Oh, wow, that was, Linda, thank you so much for that. That was, you hit all of the spots I would have.